do you have the information and the tools you need to survive and even thrive in a nine to five work environment you may wonder why i'm using the time survive as if you're going to war yes sometimes working in a nine to five environment can be compared to going to work so if you need help with knowing how to maneuver your way and how to thrive in this environment keep watching this video To my channel if you're new here my name is linda mary this channel majorly focuses on self-development and today we are going to talk about how or ways to survive and even thrive in a nine to five work environment so when i'm just using the term nine to five environment but these tips and tricks are things that you can use in any place of work anywhere where you're not the boss where you're employed let's get started Number one, never reveal your salary. Never. So many people have fallen into this trap where you get to a new job and then you get friendly with your co-workers and they know you're on the same level so you feel like you share everything and you may even think that you have the same salary range or the same salary but you, maybe you don't and then one, of, one day you just decide to mention your salary and things go haywire. This is a mistake that can cost you. It's normal for all of us to want the best. You want to be paid the most. You want the best work conditions. And if you're on the same level, people might assume that you're getting paid the, the same. But the minute they realize that that's not the case, then they think that the company values you more than it values them. You know, it creates that feeling of just feeling demotivated it can split the team this is something that i've ever seen happening we were employed at a particular job and then we were all getting paid the same and then this person came and then apparently they were getting paid more no one knew until one day it just came out so when that happened everyone was mad you know mad people are like oh so they value this individual more than they value us we've been here for such a long time this people don't even value our loyalty it even created that division whereby it's you know it's it's this individual versus this other side you know and people are like even if you are given work as a team people are motivated they're like why can't they just give it to that individual after all they're getting paid they're paying them more than they're paying us and it may not even be your fault you may be getting paid higher because you have a better bargaining power maybe when you are coming in you really really sold yourself and you're like you know what i'm not taking less than fifty thousand i'm just using 50 as a <laughs> As a random figure maybe I'm not taking less than 50 and maybe your colleagues accepted 25 or 30 so you see it's not your fault it may even be because maybe your, 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 the employers found you thought you were more valuable than the current team sometimes employers do this they bring someone from outside and they think that because this person is fresh is going coming with fresh ideas so they, they they are going to add more value to the team and so they may pay them more regardless of the case avoid revealing your salary okay number two be friendly to people be friendly to people it will cost you nothing and you will gain a lot i don't know if you've been in such situations whereby if you ask your colleagues to do something for you they accept but if someone else another colleagues ask them for the same thing they're like no i'm too busy right now they just give excuses they're not willing to it may be because you are friendly you know if you treat people well they also want to treat you well that's just human nature also on being friendly you may realize that people can even defend you or recommend you in places that you are not even able to get into. Huh? Let's say that there's a promotion coming up, there's a new spot being created with better better terms. You, maybe you are not aware or maybe you have not been consulted on it because maybe you are in a junior position. But when you are friendly to people, when they get into that room and they're like, who can we recommend? Do we bring someone from outside? Do we take someone from our team and promote them? And if so, who? Then all of a sudden your name gets floated. Let's pick Linda. Why? Yes, you may 
be good at your job and so so could be every other person at your department but now they're looking at something extra your personality do you blend well with the team are you friendly to people then someone just feels like you are the right person and you may be surprised when people come to you and they're like so and so recommended you for this position and you're like huh they never even spoke to you about it you never even requested them to float your name but that just comes with being friendly to people so do it number three do your job and do it well there's a reason you are hired there's a gap that your employer wanted you to feel there's some kind of help expertise skill that they wanted from you they thought that will benefit the organization so do that job after all, someone is paying you for that you better just i'm not saying that you start competing for employee of the year or employee of the month if you get it well i'm good something to add to your cv but if not just do your job as well as you can number four Avoid working overtime if you can. No one cares. No one cares actually. If you wake up to midnight or at three, no one cares. Not even your boss. All they care is have you done your job. There's a job they wanted you to do. Have you done it and have you done it well? It doesn't matter if you get in uh, at eight and by nine you are done and you're watching your movies. Of course, <laughs> don't let your boss see you. But it doesn't matter if that is what you do. At the end of the day, if you deliver, they prefer that and they will value that more than if you get in at five and then leave at midnight and you haven't done your job. Like, what are you doing then? So avoid working overtime. There are times where, this is something that I'm, I even struggle with, I'm actually talking to myself too. There are times when you have so many work to do that you may feel like you need to work overtime. That's okay. There are times that, you know, there are also seasons when there are so many activities happening at your place of work where you know that you're going to have to put in more work compared to other days that's okay but don't make it a norm don't make it a thing that you're always working overtime you know unless you have an agenda like one you want to get that promotion you're eyeing that promotion if that is the case and you know that by working overtime your boss is going to notice your efforts but then by all means and when you get to that point where you are leveraging for that position or higher pay you can be like yeah for example uh, i've been doing this and this and th when you say we are working overtime please let it be something that is more than your normal job requirement so you're like i finished my job and then i did something extra when i was working overtime it makes sense but when you are working overtime doing your normal job you're like but that's what we pay you to do actually you need to come and complain again that you're working overtime also, you can work overtime if maybe you have financial goals, you want to earn more and you know at your place of work you get paid for overtime, then work overtime. But don't just work overtime because you want to please the boss, because you just, you're just so, so nice, you know, you're just so nice, you just want to help the company, they don't care, okay, they don't. <laughs> and you know the funny thing, sometimes when you're there in the office working overtime, your boss doesn't even know because they're at home with their family enjoying their, their their family time their social life they are out there drinking having fun and you're killing yourself in the office don't do it <laughs> the next thing i want to tell you is that most of your colleagues are not your friends and there's a reason i've used most not all because people normally just say you know not all of your colleagues are your friends you need to just do your job and go home i've said most because the work it is funny but the workplace is one place where you can get some of your best friends that you can go on with life even after you leave your place of work so there are one or few people that may really come through for you but keep in mind that most of them are not okay so it means that don't go revealing all your plans you know what i even plan on quitting this job you know what you might tell the wrong person and then it gets it lands into the ears your boss's ears and before you even quit you're fired then what <laughs> one mistake that a lot of us do is trying to outshine our bosses don't try to outshine your boss it won't end well <laughs> 
you know i know you, you can be maybe smarter than them maybe you graduated with the first class owners and they didn't it doesn't matter they are your boss and they're your boss for a reason so to stop trying to you know trying to outshine them in little small ways you're supposed to be working together as a team your work is to make your boss look good trust you me if you're intelligent it won't be long before people will realize even your boss's boss but no one will appreciate someone who always wants to put it's like always the, having that friend who always wants you to, wants to put you down so that they can appear better than you. That's what you do when you try to outshine your boss. Compliment them. You may be surprised at how much your boss can be also be recommended you be behind your back. They may not even come to you and tell you, you know, I always defend you. But they might be defending you when people are thinking of firing you. They may be also recommending you for positions, but they just like waiting for, for everything to be finalized so that they can break the news to you. They may be grooming you for that position. So don't just think that, that but let me tell you, even if you get a boss who always wants to, because some bosses are funny, they will always like take on your achievements and say, I did this, or I did that. It's not your job to just come and say, oh, my boss is lying, I'm the one who did it. Trust me, the truth will always come out. It will always come out. And you may be surprised when even your boss's boss know because they know his capability or her capability. And maybe they knew that before you even started working for this company. So you, do, you think they don't know that maybe he's not the one who prepared a particular project. You think they don't know. And you know when you're working with your boss, sometimes, his work is to supervise you. His work is to make sure that you do whatever it is that you are doing. Even if it is a project, you do it well. So if you do it well, then it means he has done his job well. It doesn't mean that he's taking your achievements or your accomplishments. Those are yours, okay? So just learn to compliment your boss, make their life easier, and you may be surprised if they, they themselves or other people within the company will see what you're doing. And everyone will want to work to with you. They'll be like, no, I want Linda to come to my department. No, I want Linda to work with me. Because they, they see how cohesive you are, okay? You work well with your boss. I cannot talk about surviving in a work environment without mentioning office politics. If you pick the wrong side, your job may be over. Sometimes even your career may be over. So office politics is very delicate and I don't think there's a clear cut way of maneuvering, like finding your way around office politics because some people say don't get involved in office politics. How is that even possible? If there are just two sides, you are either on this side or on this. You can't be on both sides, you cannot be in the middle. So sometimes, I don't know, maybe just try not to make your choice as obvious, okay? You know when you're on one side, and then if people if people are fighting or if especially these are your superiors if they are fighting some most of the time the employees get caught in the middle if you're seen leaving the in his or her office sometimes it was just a work related thing or you're just talking about your projects your assignment if you see, if you're seen leaving the office people assume that you're going to report uh, that she's going to talk about us she's going to tell the manager this and this i don't it is just a very weird position to be in personally i would just prefer if bosses or managers will just settle their issues without putting employees in the middle but the reality is that we get caught up in the middle so don't try to be as vocal as possible you look like uh, those supporters those fanatics who i'm, I'm supporting no right i'm supporting no, I'm supporting <laughs> like those things can get you killed like literally out there and in the work environment they can just end your career. So try not to be as vocal as possible, taking each opportunity you get to just show people how this person is good. He's the best person to run this company. This one you just have to follow your, your, your gut at some point and just look at the office situations. If you're able to just do your job without getting involved in the politics, well and good. If you get involved, try not to be so how can I say, passionate, like, just like, I am supporting so-and-so. And if that person lives in one of the places I've worked, I was close to my immediate supervisor. So when that person left, and then someone else came, and then they were, you know, were doing the performance appraisals, reviews, and everything, and then an issue just came up. 
I know you are close to so and so and so and so quit. So I I know that they might have offered offered you an opportunity to go and work with them wherever it is they went to. I know you are considering that option and I was like what? That was not the case. I was not considering I was not going anywhere but just because I was <laughs> considered to be aligned to someone else it can it can cause problems and your even new boss may feel like you are not loyal to them that your allegiance still lies with the with their previous boss or someone or their, their rival or something office politics are just delicate if you're able to just don't get too involved okay the next thing i can tell you is that don't date people immediately you go to a new job I know some people will be like, don't date, don't, don't date your, your co-workers, period. There are people who found their soulmates and their places of work, so I cannot, you cannot ignore that fact. But don't just go to a new place and then immediately you get there, you start dating people. Some people just get excited at the thought of new individuals. So when you are new, then you are hot cake, you are the new individual, they are so excited, they get so close to you, you know, they are dating you, and then one month, two months down the line, down now you become as common as the rest of your co-workers, and then a new, a new individual joins the team, and then they are the fresh, they are, they are the hot cake now, this individual now moves from you to the newest member of the organization it is crazy but there are people who do that and then you're left feeling feeling embarrassed and when you see them do this two three four times they're like oh my goodness it's not because they liked me actually this is what they do so if you have to date someone then at least take your time in that job learn who that person is learn the policy of that organization because some some companies are against co-workers dating and if you do that then maybe you need to declare your relationship so that you don't um, have these cases where someone comes and says that they were sexually assaulted especially if the person you are dating is, um, is in a um, senior level position no there are those things there are some companies that just do not tolerate that at all some companies require one of you to quit so don't just rush into it take your time and then you realize is this person want me quitting my job for you know th those are the things you can consider if they are such an amazing person but don't just rush into it the last thing i want to tell you is that your manager is a human being like you your bosses are human beings they will make mistakes just like you so sometimes they may just come on to you so hard don't take it personally this person hates me they did this and this or if your manager makes a mistake that that's not your opportunity to just go around and let everyone know so and so made a mistake they did this no this was wrong they are human so sometimes when they also do that just take time and understand and be like ah they are human they might they can wrong me the same way that any other person my neighbor or my friend can wrong me with all these tips i am sure you can now survive uh, and even thrive in a work environment okay guys we are on the rest to 100 subscribers guys please just like this video and subscribe let us grow you can just watch and watch and watch and not support okay and as usual be good to yourself bye